Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right, so this is, this is fun. Uh, being the last speaker, I mean, it's a lot of pressure here. Um, and especially to follow up with someone who did live coding, I'm actually going to do the same thing here. I'm going to live code. But let me tell you a little bit about Third Web. First of all, my name is Amen. I lead solutions at Third Web. What is Third Web doing at an IPFS uh, uh, conference? Um, what we're trying to do as a mission as a company is we're trying to make Web3 development very, very easy for developers. You don't have to be a Web3 developer. You don't have to know all of the, the nitty gritty of any of these protocols. We just make it easy. You could be a Web2 developer to do that. And what that entails is we provide a full stack for people. You know, everything from, oh, you're looking to onboard users. Well, you need wallets. Oh, you need payment rails. You need, you need to do fiat. You can do that. We have smart contracts. Um, and maybe the most important part here is that what we also do is we also provide uh, infrastructure. And part of what we try to do is, uh, is also uh, leverage decentralized storage as much as we can. We use it both internally in our smart contracts. Um, so for things like how we decide to store our Merkle roots for our NFT drop contracts, we load that onto IPFS. Um, you, know, you know, the obvious use case that people use is when it comes to the media associated with NFTs. Um, but that's who Third Web is. So what I was gonna actually do is I'm going to build a really, really quick dApp for you. And what at the conclusion of all of this, I am going to deploy it to IPFS. So it's actually like I'm going to create, really like I'm gonna craft a Web2 experience where someone would be able to mint an NFT using an embedded wallet, all of that being deployed to IPFS. And I'm gonna to try to do that as fast as my esteemed presenter right before me did. Um, no, <laughs> you think, are you saying that you're, he's probably saying that, you know, the bar isn't that, uh, isn't that, uh, but let me show you what we mean when we say to make things easy. So we have a CLI tool. If I want to create a web three application, it's as simple as me just saying NPX third web create app. Oh no. Um, sorry. I don't think you guys want to see me download the latest version of our CLI. So let me just get rid of that. No reason for me to do that. Okay. Oh, you know what? Sorry, you're gonna have to do that. I apologize. This is where um, I give demos all the time. I run solutions, so I'm work with, I work with customers all the time. This is where I have really good filler material as something is being downloaded, but this hopefully shouldn't take that much time. Um, with our CLI tool, you can create apps, you can create custom contracts. We have a Solidity SDK. And really what's gonna happen here is essentially we're going to download all of the scaffolding for whatever type of app you're trying to build. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to build a web app. Look, you guys are here. You guys trust me and believe me that that's the case because really what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right to VS Code because I didn't want you all to see me have to code every single piece of this. This is what you get. If I go to NPX third web create and I say create app in, in this, I can pick my framework, everything from React to Next to in, in my particular case here, I'm using Vite. And essentially what it does is it just has given me the scaffolding, right? Um, so let's start with, you know, when you're building your app, what you have is you have something called a third web provider. You just wrap your third web provider with whichever EVM chain you want to connect to. So what I'm going to do actually here is I'm going to, um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to craft the onboarding experience. So we have this little uh, playground, like a sandbox, where what you can do is you can create your own, think of it as like a connect wallet experience. So what I have here is I can choose, I can customize everything here. I can choose between which Web3 wallets I want to have included. We support a whole bunch of them. If I want to have embedded wallets, which I do, which you know has social and email login, that sort of thing. Um, you can create like guest wallets if you're a game. So think of it as like, I just want to create a local device wallet. All of that is just like you know parameters that I set up. And as you can see here, as I set things up, all it's doing here is just generating code for me that I'm going to cut and paste into my uh, application. So you know what? I want this to be um, 
very web two centric. So I'm gonna change my connect wallet to be, um, yeah, you know, choose your connection method, right? Um, you know what, I don't like these third web guys always putting their logos. Oh, I wanna change the splash image. So what I can do is on our, on our third web dashboard, this is, we, we, so we provide storage infrastructure, like I told you. So we have like just the UI here in our dashboard where any user can essentially upload and pin their assets. So, you know, my image, since this is Dev Connect, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna drag and drop this and I'm gonna upload this to IPFS. It's there. Now I can just grab my hash. I can go back to where I was crafting our experience. I, oops. I can do control V and there's my image. I can say, you know what? This is at IPFS connect. I think you all get the idea, right? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of do some cutting and pasting. So I'm gonna take, you know, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my third web provider and I'm gonna go back to our code and I'm gonna override that. Um, what I'm going to want to do as well I don't need you, actually. Okay. And then, you know, in honor of Arbitrum Gurley going away and being deprecated here in the next couple of days, instead of connecting to Ethereum, let's connect to Arbitrum Gurley. We have a chains package, so I can just, it's as simple as me just taking this, replacing my chain ID with Ethereum to Arbitrum Gurley. Great. Oops, I need my client ID. Luckily, here. Luckily, first I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna say, sorry, active chain. And then here, yep, you know, this is, I'm gonna do uh, import.meta.env.vite uh, template. Client ID is the name of my variable. Okay, that's it, I'm done. So now this is essentially going to my wallets these are the supported wallets in my application. I'm basically set up to connect to any EVM chain. In our case, we're gonna to go to Arbitrum Gurley. So the last piece of this then is the connect wallet button, right? And so I'm going to go back to my app here. I am going to grab this beautiful connect wallet that you all saw. I'm gonna cut and paste it into my, um, Okay, and then the last piece of this is I want to put like a button just for being able to claim my NFT, right? So what I can do there is I can use our hook, use address, which is basically like the, the wallet address of the connected wallet, whatever the user decided to connect. That's the easy part, and then I come over here and tricks of the trade here for those of you who want to do live demos you just do this and you uncomment it so that people aren't bored with what you're doing so you can essentially th see here that what we provide is a little component called a web3 button that you can give it a contract address and then depending on the type of address you can make a call for that all right so where where am i going to get the contract from we're going to go back to the third web dashboard and what i can do here now is if i go to contracts that's not good. I go to contracts and now I connect my wallet to the dashboard because I'm gonna be deploying here. I can go to deploy contract. And now these, this is like just a registry of smart contract templates, audited smart contract templates that you can deploy to any EVM chain from our, uh, from our dashboard, 100% owned by you. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna go back to explore, and I actually wanna grab an open edition. We're just gonna do an open edition here. And so I'm gonna deploy this guy. I'm gonna call it my IPFS Connect uh, NFT. I can upload an image, which yes, you guessed it folks. It's gonna be automatically uploaded to IPFS by our application. And so when I deploy this contract, you'll see my MetaMask get prompted here and it's essentially now all I have to do is set up my contract. So we'll do that real quick. So we'll deploy the contract. There's some other kind of setup that's happening here. Um, 
related to the NFT metadata. And then one last step here, which is, you know, basically a signature so that this contract will be added to our, to our third web dashboard. So once this completes, we'll have our contract address. All I'll have to do is I'll just have to plug that into our application. Come on, Arbitrum Gurley, come on. I know, probably sad, waiting for us to, uh, to, uh, to deprecate it, so it's not cooperating. But once this returns, is it? Did, it, did I not sign it? Let's see here. Oh no, I did sign it. Okay. Hmm. Wonder what is happening. Okay, what I'll do here then, rather than trying to debug this right now, what I will do is just use, I, what I'll do is I'll just use uh, uh, an existing contract that I have on Arbitrum Gurley. So I'll go back to my dashboard. I'll just pick um, from Arbitrum Gurley. And let's see here, yes, I have an open edition here. So I'll go ahead and use this one. Right, so it's been set up. So essentially what I did is I've set up my metadata for the NFT, and then the other thing that I've done is I've set up my claim conditions. The claim conditions are what I described to you, um, which was essentially allow list and the Merkle root. So what I can do now is take this guy, and I can go back to my app, I can plug it in, and that's it. And so we're basically ready here. What I can do here is I can say yarn dev, run my app, Let's go ahead and load it, and here's the application, right? I can sign in here. I can choose between different social uh, logins to log into the app, and I'll be able to claim my NFT. So the last step here, which I told you about, is like, okay, that's cool. We tested it. Looks like it's working. Everything is, is, is like it is. I can go back to my CLI tool, and I can just say deploy. I can say app. And so what this is going to do here is essentially build... This is going to build the project and then deploy it to IPFS, returning basically like the, the IPFS hash. And at that point now you can put that into any IPFS gateway and when you load that, then what you'll have is you will have um, a running application uh, running on IPFS. So let me make this a little, oops. Sorry about that, here. Okay, so you can see here that it was built, 15 seconds, here is my hash. So if I go ahead and load that into IPFS, you can kind of see here that our app is loaded and it's running here. And so I can run it the exact same app that I was talking about there. So I think when I made the title of this, I said it was going to be in 15 minutes. I don't know. Oh, I actually did make 15 minutes. It's 5.14. So I actually did all that, explained who Third Web was, and showed you how you can do that very, very easily using our tools. Any questions from the remaining people? Cool. All right. Well, thank you all for, uh, for, for sticking around at the last session. And if you have any, you know, if you're interested in Third Web, it's thirdweb.com. If you go to our dashboard, it's thirdweb.com slash dashboard. Thank you.